Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing some cool stuff. So the first thing is, we're gonna learn how to fade this text in. Like that. Pretty cool, huh? And the second thing is, we're gonna learn the scroll animation, which is like this. When you scroll, this will slide upwards by fading in. And at the end, I'll be telling you some important stuff so you don't want to miss that. Alright, let's start coding. So, as I mentioned earlier, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this main title fade in. And what we have right now is we can see the text at the beginning. And what we need to do is we need to make this thing invisible. So, we'll come back to our code, go to our CSS, come to our main title, and we'll add our display none and now you can see it's not showing okay so from here we'll start coding our jQuery so in here we'll use a thing called set timeout and I'll explain it to you later so just copy my code for now So this set timeout, what it does is it'll run a function after a number of milliseconds. So we gotta add our number in this second argument. For this time we'll do 500. So what it means is after 0.5 seconds it will run this function. And this main title have to be matched with this class name. So let's go ahead and save it and check our Chrome. So now when we press Command R, after 0.5 seconds it will start the function which is fading in this title. Let's check again. Everything works just fine. So the one thing that I want to mention is that I want you guys to be able to read the code first. You don't have to be able to write every single code um, you don't have to even remember but the first main thing that you should be focusing on is how to read the code and understand it because if you're the person that's trying to remember every single code that you write like set timeout and next you write parentheses and inside this parentheses you write function and next another parentheses and this time it's not inside the parentheses you write curly braces and like, there's no way you can remember it. There's no way that you can remember how to code in this space. So the key point here is you want to be able to read and understand what this code is actually trying to do. If you can do that, the next thing what you want to do is remember these key words like set timeout and fade in. If you can remember these two, the next time when you want to like fade in the text, you can come back to this video and watch the code and you'll remember it. And as you keep doing it over and over again, you'll type set timeout parentheses function and you'll keep writing it over and over again that even if you're not focusing on trying to remember how to code every single thing, you will naturally remember it and eventually you'll be able to code it. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this time what we wanna make is we wanna make a scroll animation. So when we scroll down, we want to make this photo section slide upwards by fading in. And to do that, We'll make a second class called 
animation. Go ahead and copy this. And we'll come to our main.js file. And we're going to start writing our jQuery. We'll use a if statement. So if we have a class name called animation, and don't worry about this length for now, I'll explain it later. We're going to make another name called scroll animation. Okay, so now we have to make this animation, scroll animation function underneath here. So what it's saying is if we have an animation class, we'll run this function. And we're going to write this function right now. So we do function scroll animation. It's going to be window dot scroll and function curry braces and inside here we want to look at the animation class we'll put dot each function and we're gonna make a variables so we're gonna make three variables first one is const position offset dot top and I'll explain everything so don't worry you'll understand it but for now just copy my code const scroll equals window Oh, this should be dollar mark. All right. And const window height. All right, and the last thing, another if statement, if scroll is bigger than position minus window height. We're going to add a class open. Okay. So now let's try to read this and understand what it's trying to do. It's very simple. So if we have an animation class, we want to run this scroll animation function. And this scroll animation, what it does is if the window scroll, it will look for an animation class, okay? And then it will run this calculation. So 
before I explain this position, you gotta understand what is this? Well, this is just a shorthand that you can use. It means this dot animation class, it's the same. Okay, so this means this dot animation. So what this does is it's calculating from the top to the position where we have the animation class. So to make it easier to see, I will come here and add a background color. So this is the animation class where we have the animation class. And why are we adding this background color to our image box? It's because it's the same place, okay? So what it says is it's calculating from the top to wherever we have the animation class, okay? So now the calculation tells that the position where we have the animation class is right here. Okay, so that's that. Next one, the scroll. The scroll, what it does is it's just knowing where you at right now. So let's start scrolling. There's a scroll bar right here. So if we scroll down, it will calculate and know that we are right here, okay? So this is that and the last one the window height window height it's just calculating the height on your device or your laptop so if you're looking at it with your smartphone it's calculating the height on your smartphone and if you're looking at it on your laptop it will it will calculate the height on your laptop okay so after doing all that calculation it'll run an if statement and what it's saying is scroll, if the scroll is bigger, then the position minus window height. So what it means, it's, it basically means that when we scroll down, we still don't see the animation class right now. And as we scroll down, scroll down, and if we see this animation class, it will run a function that says image box, dot add class open so if we see this animation class it will add a class called open okay and we haven't made our open class yet so all we got to do is make our open class for the image box so let's go to our css go ahead and copy this and press option shift down arrow and you can get rid of this. We want to make this opacity zero at first. And if we have our open class, if it opens, we will make it opacity one so that we can see it. And also, Translate Y, we'll do it 200 pixel. And we'll make this zero. Transition one second. And as you can see, as we scroll them down, it slides upward by fading in. It's looking perfect. Now you know how to make a scroll animation. And the next next thing what I want to teach is I'll teach you why we use the length and the each. But we'll do this in the next video. Um, the next video we'll do the advanced animation where these each pictures will slide upwards 
in different time frame and it's very cool animation effect that you can do so you don't want to miss that video so if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video just please hit the like button and just one thing I want to go back to my CSS and take off this background color all right nice okay so hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video bye